Hey everyone, this is Alex USA Days, and I've read an article recently that um, Microsoft CEO admits AI is already writing 30% of the company's code. So, and to me, that just sounds crazy. I don't know how is that possible. I think it's it's just a push to to push the hype, uh, really, because as a daily AI user, unless this is some uh, closed behind the door secret AI that they're using, I see all the problems that it has. I don't I don't think that's possible. Like all the talk about AI taking over and developers are not going to be needed is just hard to achieve. Uh, from from the daily use of the AI, and I have a video of MCP playwright with copilot, you will see the code that it generates, even though uh, even when you ask it to go to the page and look at the loc locator, it's still going to generate a bunch of code that doesn't work, even though it analyzed the page beforehand. And that's just simple things. Like for me as a daily user of the AI, uh, I think it's a great help when you know what's you, what you're doing. So you can ask things, uh, you can kind of, uh, maybe it can help you with unit tests, I don't know, and uh, generating like a JSON file or schema, stuff like that. But um, if you ask about some things in the tool that you're trying to figure out and the AI isn't properly trained on it, or I guess didn't even self-train, it will generate things that don't exist. Like I see it all the time. Um, when asking to add things to the playwright config, for example, it might generate a property that isn't there. You go to the playwright documentation, you try searching for it, not there. Um, you go and try to ask for like a specific method that you do, maybe you want to do something differently and you ask how you can implement it and it will give you a response with a method that doesn't exist. If you give it a relatively bigger project, like, um and start asking to kind of uh, fix this and that and help implement certain things um if something goes wrong and you ask for more and more um, things to be uh fixed and iterated through so the more iterations you're going to have with, when something kind of got sidetracked off track, the more broken code you it will generate. So it gets worse and worse with every iteration when you ask uh, to come up like with a solution for a problem that it couldn't solve it the first time. Um, so for me, saying that, you know, some, when someone's saying that, okay, the AI is going to take over and um, Kevin Scott, Microsoft CTO, saying that, uh, up to 95% of the code will be AI generated by 2030. I, d I don't know how is that possible. Like uh, I see AI being a good tool and a helper when there's someone who knows how to build certain things. Uh, if someone doesn't know uh, what they're doing, the AI might generate something that is working, but it will have a lot of loopholes, a lot of problems, a lot of security issues, and it's not going to be maintainable or scalable. Uh, so essentially, you know, you're going to ship a bad product. Um, and I think what what is actually happening, the more companies implement the AI without understanding that there has to be a knowledgeable person kind of behind it, guiding the AI, as if it's not a tool, it's not a helper, but just uh, essentially executor, uh, the more you will see bad products with a lot of issues being released and until things completely break and stop working properly. So trusting that the AI is going to be doing everything, I think it's, it's a big mistake. And promoting and hyping on that, saying this is how it's going to be, uh, I think is also a big mistake because it pushes business that maybe not uh, tech savvy to over over rely on the AI and as a result have pretty bad uh, product as an outcome that will impact the business. Um, if you're like me and you're working with the AI daily and um, you build things using AI or test things using AI, please let me know if you had any success uh, having AI generating things where on a daily basis where you don't have to go in every day or other day and kind of fix things for it or guide it better uh, because I still see a lot of um, 
hallucinations being generated by the AI for things that just don't exist in the tool. Um, I mean, it's definitely good as a companion and a helper if you know what you're doing. Um, I can see it can generate like unit tests and maybe JSON files or overall like kind of coverage for, for the testing. But writing something from scratch and uh, building things up without proper guidance... I don't know. I I don't. I just didn't see it happening. So if you have a different experience, please let me know in the comments. Like what you've built, what you've used, and how much oversight was needed. Okay. Uh, yeah. So this this is just my opinion on what's going on with the AI and AI replacing the developers or AI replacing the QA. Um, this was Alex USA Days. Thanks for watching and bye bye.